let's look at the capabilities built into DSO Upstream that enable development of a drilling schedule that meets lease expirations and continuous drilling provisions. DSO Upstream can use available lease and unit information to accommodate provisions like this. We'll use an example schedule with 13 leases, each with different expiration dates and continuous development day or CDD intervals of 180 and 120 days. There are 67 drilling activities to be performed and increasing to eight rigs available over the first two years of the schedule. In this resource-oriented Gantt chart view of the schedule, we can see that nothing has been scheduled yet. The drilling information is loaded, though, and we'll use DSO Upstream's integrated optimizer to build the schedule. Let's switch to this lease-oriented Gantt chart view. The various lease names are shown here, and here are all the drilling activities, ready to be assigned to the rigs. Now, suppose that we want to build a schedule that will ensure there's at least one drilling activity within each CDD period until all inventory is drilled in the lease. To easily follow what's happening as the optimizer runs, we use a layout that shows the CDD dates for the next several years. The optimization control panel shows the objectives that we're going to use. Looking closely, we can see our key objective highlighted. The objective ensures that the optimizer will minimize lease CDD violations, and the rest of the objectives are ensuring we have a sound schedule with good capital efficiency. This combination of objectives ensures that we will obey the lease CDD provisions, but also maintain an executable schedule. If we now use the integrated optimizer to build the schedule, by pressing this green button, we see the results very rapidly. The drilling activities are being assigned to the various rigs over time. This is exactly what we wanted. At times, you can even see some red bars flash along the bottom of the activity boxes. These are visual CDD violation warnings. They aren't there for long because the optimizer moves the activity in time to resolve the violation. Looking at the resource Gantt chart, we can see how our rigs are being used and what activities have been assigned to each one. Of course, we can modify the schedule manually to move the scheduled drilling activities in time or to change the rig assignments. The choice of exactly what to do is up to the user. If you'd like to see a more complex schedule with more leases and wells, or you'd like to know more about DSO Upstream, please contact us at info at actinum.com.